pour my soul out through the hazes. I'm asleep in the cold tonight. I've worn my toes down, bone to the pavement. Let something be my life. What I really like about Dillard's is it's like a poor man's Nordstrom. You're still gonna get nice stuff, but you just don't have to sell your house to be able to afford it. Got this shirt for like 10 bucks, just a regular shirt, you know, nothing fancy. I don't really care about brand name of clothes. It doesn't really matter to me as long as it looks nice. Picked up a button up, was originally hundred bucks, got it half off. That's $50 for you math majors out there. And major key, if you're gonna get a button up and you're like me and you don't even lift, make sure it's a slim fit or else everyone will be able to tell you have no biceps. So that's my fashion tip of the day. I honestly only went there to get a gift box because I had to wrap another gift, but I felt bad not like buying something to get the box. Anyway. It's cold in Ohio. I'm not going there. So everyone that knows me knows how much I love snow. I love cold weather. It's going to be great. But I do want to give a big thank you to everyone that watched last week's video where I vlogged my first date. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. But I asked you for feedback on things you wanted to see on the channel and I got some great comments. And it wasn't just a bunch of generic stuff either. So I'm definitely going to start incorporating that into the channel. Appreciate that. Now I know I had to bribe you guys with the movement giveaway. And by the way, Jimmy and Karan, hope that you guys enjoy those watches. We'll be doing another one very soon. And part of the feedback I got was you want to see me making more food I I get it so here's what we're gonna do today so obviously it's winter 99% of us are not gonna be seeing the beach anytime soon I know a lot of us are gonna be bulking throughout the winter trying to put on some weight but my suggestion with this is gonna be don't be an idiot don't just eat a pack of Oreos every day and say it's for, because you're making gains that's that's not the case we're gonna do this the right way so we're gonna make some like healthier I'll call them I guess winter foods like for me it's cold outside even though I hate soup this Trader Joe's tomato soup is amazing and what I really like about this is it's low sodium so it only has what is it? 140 milligrams of, sir of sodium per serving, which is crazy. Now, the reason I don't really mind tomato soup is because it pairs well with grilled cheese and I'll never complain about grilled cheese. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a macro fr friendly, high protein grilled cheese. We're gonna take some 35 calorie potato bread and we're actually gonna spread it with some of this Trader Joe's spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with this stuff. We're gonna add some turkey. We're gonna add one piece of cheese. We're gonna put butter on each side. making a very big sacrifice for you guys right now. I'm a baby when it comes to being cold, but I'm in a beautiful area called Hyde Park and with the snow coming down, it's just very, very scenic. So hopefully you guys already saw some of that at the beginning of the video, throw a little bit more in, and then we're off to do some Christmas shopping, man. I try to do everything online, but you always have to go to the store at least once. Unfortunately for me, I'm waiting a little bit later than I would have liked, but just gotta pick up last, some last few things here. For some damn reason. So cold, so ridiculously cold. Can you guys tell how well the face of this movement watch matches this sweatshirt? I'm just Mr. Style today, and one of the best parts about this movement watch is if you wanted to buy one, you could go on movement.com slash Travis, save 15%, get free shipping and free returns, and not have to go out in this crappy cold weather. It ships straight to your door, and everyone will love it. There's my little plug for the video, but seriously, they do make great holiday gifts, as I'm sure you guys know. It's hard to buy for a lot of different people. Everyone is looking for a nice watch. The best part about it is it only runs about 100 bucks, so it's gonna look like it costs maybe six, $700, and in reality, you paid a fraction of the cost. So like I said, I'll leave all the links down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Unfortunately for me, I got all my friends' watches already, so now I gotta go buy like wrapping paper and cards. So I hate shopping, but I really do love buying people gifts. But what I think I do too often is just throw money at things, you know, just go out and buy gifts because I'm like, I don't have time, let's just go buy them something, which is great, right? I mean, people like nice things, but what I'm really trying to make an effort to do this year is put more time into it, put, like actually go out of the way to do something a little bit more meaningful, you know? 
so it's a little after four o'clock before I can deal with any more shopping or people or living or anything else. Hey, Travis. If this video gets 1,500 likes, I will give you guys my new secret drink. It's pretty crazy. I don't know what this thing is, but I like it. It's pretty cool. I will be droning over that very soon. Question of the video, what gift are you most excited to give this holiday season? That will be an interesting conversation. Leave them down below, unless your significant other or whoever you're buying for watches my videos, which I guess if they don't, then that's the gift that you should give them. You should give them the recommendation to start watching your boy. Let the snow fall down. All right, so we're finally gonna get some more food in us, although it's gonna be more of a drink. One of you guys sent this over to me on Snapchat. It looked really good. So all I'm gonna do first is measure out eight ounces of milk. I just remembered I have no idea how much an ounce is. I'm measuring this in milliliters. We're just gonna do like, uh, like that much. Okay, and then we're gonna do a scoop of the peanut butter cookie select protein powder. Honestly, I've been sleeping on this. This flavor is so good and I have not been using it lately. So I'm gonna throw a scoop of that in there. And then he says to throw in some PB2. This is just the off brand, pretty much the exact same thing. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons. Cheers to you, rich homies. All joking aside, this is almost too good because I already know this is gonna last about four seconds. This is, wow. This really is pretty incredible. That warm peanut butter taste under 150 calories. The only thing that would make this better is if you could somehow, some way, save 30% on peacesigns.com. Another topic a lot of you guys requested that I cover is business or personal finance, stuff like that, which I like that kind of stuff. I'm more than happy to talk about it as long as you realize it's just gonna be my opinions. I am no expert by any means. It's kind of ironic because I am an accountant, but I feel like a lot of times I'm financially irresponsible. I mean, I'm still paying a lot of money for a house that I don't even live in. It just sits empty, but hopefully that's gonna come to an end very soon. We'll talk about that in a future video. But I look at money much differently now than I did when I was in my, say, early 20s. Granted, I wasn't making a lot of money then, but now I'm like, yeah, what I do with my money might not make the most sense financially, but I just do what makes me happy, you know? Now I got money put away, I got my stock portfolio, all that, you know, but now it's like, do I wanna go travel? Okay, let's, let's go then. I'm not gonna miss out on an experience because it's a lot of money. I mean, unless it's kind of ridiculous, you know, but it's kind of just the way my mind has shifted and I'm sure it will keep shifting as I have a family and stuff like that. I have it easy now. I'm a 28 year old single male. No one relies on me. I can kind of just be pretty loose with it. I mean, I'm not even that good about budgeting or anything like that. But if you guys want my opinions, all you have to do is let me know in the comments below. Let me show you guys an absolute game changer right here. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. I think I think it's Rizzo, Rizzota? I think that's how you say it, but it's the Alexia brand. Now check out the macros on this. It is for the whole entire thing, 210 calories, and then you're looking at 13 fat, 18 carb, and seven protein. And the best part is that it is so delicious. I don't even know what to expect, but it's like this cheesy, creamy, rice-like type of, I don't even know how to describe it but I love it. And with that, we're gonna have this rice veggie cauliflower. For this entire bag, you're only looking at 80 calories. Yes, I would rather have Brussels sprouts, but I'm trying to show you guys different options, and then we're gonna try out chicken lime, chicken burger, chicken lime, chili lime, chicken burgers from Trader Joe's, and on these, you're looking at 150 calories, six fat, three carb, 19 protein, if anybody cares. The curtains call, sing for their praises. Else's so all of this is right around 600 calories and this is a good amount of food But I'm really interested in trying out these Trader Joe's chicken burgers We'll definitely be buying again. I always save the risotto for last like dessert. It is seriously that good They sell it at Meyer, some Kroger. I think some Whole Foods sells it. So definitely look it up online This is probably one of the best grocery finds I found all year. I already know some people are going to leave comments down below. You're balking. Why are you worried about all these low calorie foods? And there's really multiple reasons. One is because it's easy to go out and eat, you know, nachos and whatever to hit your calories. No big deal. But I am placing a big emphasis on overall health here. You guys have probably noticed lately I've been turning into somewhat of a hippie, but we'll talk about that maybe in another video. The other 
is because maybe you're not bulking, maybe you're cutting, and I wanna be able to give everyone food suggestions. If you are in a caloric surplus, then maybe just up the serving size. This whole day, I've only eaten about 1,200 calories, and I'm perfectly fine, I'm content, and that's someone with a big appetite. So regardless of your goals, I think you can get something out of this. Also, what else? Um, I don't look like I lift, right? We, we all agree to that, the internet tells me all the time. You know the only thing worse than that is if you don't look like you lift and you're a fatty. So I'm trying, trying to keep this uh, slender physique over here, so we'll go with that's, uh, that's number three, and what's another one? What's another reason? Um, oh yeah, eat less calories during the day, eat your micronutrients, all that, you can eat more ice cream. Baby girl. So you might have noticed this is actually the dairy-free Halo Top. I tried out the chocolate one, for the first time yesterday, my first dairy-free flavor, and it's hard for me to say this, and you guys are gonna be surprised, but it was, it was not good. Even coming from the Halo Top fanboy, I just, I was not impressed. So I'm really hoping the chocolate peanut butter is a little bit better. The good news is that it's better. It's just not as good as the regular. It just, it's just not as good. The more of that dairy-free Halo Top I had, the better it was. I'm just comparing it to something so amazing, the regular Halo Top. But I would say, if you can't have dairy for whatever reason, I don't think you'd be too disappointed because you don't know what you're missing. But if you guys are OG subscribers on the channel, you probably remember the protein pudding recipe I had. Nothing too crazy, it's just frozen berries, PES select protein powder, box of sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix, and some almond milk. And this stuff is so dense, it gives you a ton of volume, it tastes great, gets some more fruits in, which I desperately need in my diet. So I'm gonna have that and it's like 10.30, I'll probably head to bed here soon. So we're gonna end this long, long day of eating with the bag of Quest chips. I really, really like these things. I know some people gave them a hard time, but I think they're good. And then we're gonna have one everything bagel, and I'm going to bed. So I guess in summary, even if you're balking, it doesn't mean you need to get sloppy and eat like an idiot. You still need high quality foods, or you can just do whatever you want. That's fine too. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch. Oh, by the way, if you didn't watch Tuesday's video, my $70,000 mistake, please check that one out. I'm really happy with the way that turned out, and I think it could really help a lot of people. I wish I would have had that video five, six, seven years ago. But thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. It's pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. It was great to have you here. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.